Chinese real estate has grabbed international headlines recently, with some commentators calling China's housing markets, quote, the biggest property bubble in the history of mankind. But bubbles don't exist in isolation, and each major market will tug along several offshoots with it. With housing, that tug exerts pressure on several input markets, ranging from land to steel. But in China's megacities, housing, particularly luxury housing, has a strong pull on a less obvious submarket, the buying and selling of parking spaces. The price of a central Beijing apartment may put people deep into sticker shock, but maybe even more outlandish is the price of parking a vehicle outside of or underneath these buildings. The China Times reports that average parking spaces at Beijing's luxury complexes have climbed to a full $80,000. For spots at Imperial Mansions, a luxurious complex located just off glitzy Wangfujing Shopping Street, residents are forking over between $96,000 and $128,000 just for a parking space. That makes the spots more expensive than buying a BMW 5 Series here in China and puts the 4 by 8 meter cement squares on par with cheap apartments in the city. The same spots were going for a more reasonable $80,000 at the beginning of 2011, putting their growth rate over the years well above growth in luxury housing. Markets for parking spaces are, of course, highly segmented. Beijing is laid out with a series of ring roads, inner city highways that circle the city, emanating outward from the second ring road out to the sixth. With the walls of the Forbidden City serving as the first ring road, spots within the second ring are obviously the steepest. As one moves outward, prices begin to slide, with the city average coming in around 200,000 yuan or $32,000. That amount is still roughly equal to two years' income for a middle-class Chinese worker. So what's driving up the price on parking in Beijing? Part of the sky-high cost can be chalked up to cultural factors. China's marriage culture puts an extreme emphasis on possession of two items, a home and a car. Having both is practically a prerequisite for courting many women, and a second car as a gift for a wife often sweetens the deal. This means that despite the city's extreme density and relatively convenient public transportation, the vast majority of homeowners also possess at least one vehicle. That means apartment complexes must strive for at least a one-to-one -one ratio of parking spaces to apartments, a number that they often fail to achieve. With land and housing prices so high, it's often impossible to build sufficient parking for the sky rises that sprout like weeds around Beijing. The problem is even more severe in Beijing's luxury housing compounds. With homeowners putting down over $8,000 per square meter on their homes, these sugar daddies and mamas are very likely to own multiple vehicles. Those luxury vehicles often require a secure underground spot, but that's something that developers have a tough time providing. The Securities Daily reports many luxury complexes struggling to achieve a 0.8 to 1 ratio on parking spots to apartments. That imbalance naturally leads to something of an arms race as China's super rich bid up the cost of precious concrete. Don't go away because after the break we'll look at the profits earned by developers and whether it's time to start talking about a parking bubble in Beijing. Stay tuned for that.